gentlemen, welcome to Battle Court Highline. Tonight's game day will feature the Warriors and the Cyclones. And with that, I want to welcome everybody into another edition of our Spring 24 Battle Court season. Andrew Blackman joined alongside Stu Nyman. How are you doing today, Stu? Very well, Andrew. Looking forward to an awesome day of Warriors versus Cyclones here in Battle Court. And we got the Warriors squarely in the playoff picture right now. Cyclones. They need to make their push. Perhaps today is the day. Quadruple zeros up on the clock. Let's introduce match number one. Six division doubles going to get started with Carbio and Flores against Williams and Julen here. Quickly pull up these two teams' records here as well. Carbio and Flores, three and two, plus 500 in this six division. And for this Warriors team, one of the few remaining undefeated doubles teams in battle court, Williams and Julen, 4 0, looking to make it five in a row. There's the serve, we begin. Two all, stop by Williams. Here's Flores, backhand to the inside, well played. Julen, backhand from the 11 line. Robote. Flores on the catch, backhand from the 11 line. Williams on the backhand. Here's a catch by Carbio. Backhand from the eight to the outside. Caught nearby. Julen. There's a backhand by Flores. Robote will fall short. First point of this match goes to Carbio and Flores of the Cyclones. Carbio serves. Reminder of the scoring in battle court, ladies and gentlemen. The first team to reach six points wins the set. The first team to win two sets wins the match. Robote left side. There's a catch by Flores. Nice pickup at the 11 line. Julian on the backhand. Robote forehand to the inside. Here's Julian from the nine line. Ball tipped on the forehand of Flores. We're all tied up, one point apiece. Williams serves for the Warriors. Flores is going to have to establish he can make that catch on the bounce coming in from Julen's forehand. His right side is so dominant, and it's led to the success of this six team for the Warriors. Now Williams doing a good job up there as well, but bulk of the work coming from Julen in the back and that right side. Flores on the backhand. That passes. Robote for Williams. Williams on the Robote. Two all. Stopped by Carballo. Caballo powerfully from the forehand, a little too hard. That struck the overhead screen, which is out of play. Two points for Williams and Julen. Williams has the serve for the Warriors. Frequent question how something like that happens. When you're trying to get the ball past your opponents, throw it high to the front wall, but when you throw it that hard, it has a tendency to kick. That definitely kicked up and hit the overhead screen, which is out of play. Yeah, trying to get Williams involved, forcing a, a rebote. And Carbao's got all the power in the world. He could just hold back a little bit here, especially early on with the colder ball. Ball under serve. Battle court rules allow for two serves. Second serve must be good. Good serve lands between the four and seven line. Sometimes with the colder ball early on, you try to give it a little bit more, and, and Carbao's got almost as much strength in that right side as anybody on this roster. You can pass at any point anywhere on the court from that right side. Carballo picks the serve, drop shot, scores on the second bounce. All tied up, two points apiece, Carballo serves. Yeah, and you gotta, you gotta be aggressive for sure, Carballo up in the service box. You know, Williams sometimes gives you that Cortada serve and crosses the side wall. And it's not easy to necessarily get in there and try to make a play. That one well off the wall, Carballo's gonna take that one 100 times out of 100, that drop shot well executed. Excellent catch by Julen off a good serve by Carbio. That ball hit the overhead screen, which is out of play. That is three points for the Blue Shirts. Carbio and Flores. Carbio has the serve. And that's got to be a control issue there on the left side of Julen. Don't know why he'd be trying to pass 
you know, get it. Don't don't have to flirt with the net. I guess is the main point. Get it to Flores back there. What are you going to feed the Robote to Carbio? Didn't stop the ball in the yeah. Sesta. Yeah, that that had to be the guess because he's been keeping these backhands a little bit lower, trying to play Flores on the bounce, and that one just got away from him. Here's the backhand by Julian to the inside. Carbio looks for the Robote at the ten line. He makes the save. Julian steps up mid court. Flores on the left side, backhand from the 11 line. Bote dropping, that's saved by Carballo. Julian on the forehand, big right side from the 8 line, scooped up by Flores and a beautiful catch on the backhand. For Bote forehand, saved by Carballo. Julian has it on the bounce. Low and hard to the inside. Here's Flores, backhand. Here's the backhand by Flores. He gets it to pass. Robote, the rebound off the back wall, played sidearm. Splitter, caught in the air by Julen. Julen powerfully from the right side. That will score. Williams has a serve here for the Warriors. We're tied up, three points apiece. And that's what you're gonna see from Carbio though in this level. We saw it last season and here it again. He's gonna play almost up in front of his back quarter. I mean, he was back there beyond the 11 line trying to get in there. Carbio picks the serve. Costado two all is out. That's four points, four. The Warriors, Williams and Julian, Williams serves. Carbao's got enough power to beat guys net side on that Costado two all, but split placement, less risky, drop shot, less risky, and Williams hasn't proven that he can get up there and stop the drop shot yet, so keep going back to that one. If Carbao. Carbao picks another one. This two all is out. That's five points for Williams and Julian. Williams has a serve. So I'm going to say it again. I think I'd, a drop shot, Stu, I think is, I mean, the drop shot, a splitter, I mean, something that you don't risk throwing it off the court completely. That's two in a row that he's had great opportunities and just. Well, anything that stays in play. Right, just just not great execution. Caballo picks the serve again. Powerful, Even powerful that. throw. Throwing wall to wall. Robote save. Here's a catch by Carballo. To all. Stopped, but not held on to. Four points for Carballo and Flores. Carballo has a serve. It, well, he landed one. Got one. And again, you just got to know your personnel. I mean, who are you playing against? You playing against Douglas? You playing against Williams? I understand flirting with the boundary line against Douglas. You want to make that catch as difficult as possible but with Williams. Let him prove that he can make it first, and then maybe you start to push it closer to the boundary line. And they've given away three or four points in this set. This is in the Cyclones' hands. They got to close this one out. Fault, fault under serve. Second serve, must be good. Good serve lands between the four and seven line. Forehand by Julian over the top. Oh, that ball tipped. Point and set for Williams and Julian. They win the first set 6-4. We'll take a minute 30 break, come back out, and play our second set. Here we are in the ESPN3 players cage. Players come back here and take breaks in between sets. You see there in the foreground, Julian on the right side of your screen, Williams. Williams left, Manny comes in. I don't make many predictions, Stu, but I'm coming in and saying I think we're going to get a third set here. I mean, My. A lot of unforced errors by the Cyclones there. Yeah, Carballo put two off the court with the Costado. And, and those are, that wasn't helpful. I mean, just a four-point swing. I mean, you're expecting to score those two points, and then you give them away, and points add up pretty quickly. Four has not... Not heavily involved. Again, two coming there in the backcourt miss. But again, Carbio's the leader of this team. I mean, he's going to lead them to victory or, or not. And 
today just hasn't quite worked out with some of those shots already. See, I mean, yeah, he's already he's a line. front quarter back yeah. at the eleven line. If you're going to go back there as a front quarter, make the catch. I think that's difficult too. Is uh, Flores doesn't necessarily understand what he's supposed to go it's, for or not, exactly. and then he gets tentative. And the last thing you want is a tentative backcourt. That's the thing that we talk about when we yeah. talk about communication between the players. Is players knowing where they need to be, and if someone's locked in, look. If you're a good front quarter and you're locked in, you want to come back, not a problem, but make the play. We are ready to begin our second set. Carbio will have the serve for the Cyclones. Here's a backhand by Julian to the inside. Robote, that rebound off the back wall, played on the forehand of Carballo. Julian from the forehand, outside placement. No one is there to retrieve it. Excellent shot by Julian. First point goes to the Warriors here in this second set. Williams has the serve. Smart shot against this Carballo Flores team. You know Carballo is going to aggressively move back to the inside. You see here, look at this. I mean, before he even doesn't even take a look where Julian's throwing first off, and then his first move is back inside. A lot of space there on the outside, well executed. That serve got away from Williams. That is an overserve. Second serve must be good. Good serve lands between the four and seven line. Carbio picks the serve. Costado to all. Stopped by Williams. Williams, Carambola to the back. Juggling on the catch of Carbio. That is two points for the black shirts. Williams and Julian. Williams serves. And those forehands coming back from Williams. A little bit difficult to control in the basket when it kicks back across the player's body to the forehand. Spin coming off the side yeah. wall, absolutely. Had a lot of spin, and again, a good call there by the judge. Lost contact with the Ace of the basket, that is juggling. That ball dies coming out of the service box and scores. That's three points for Williams and Julian. Williams serves. That one really died off the front wall and kicked up off the side wall, kills a bunch of the speed. Floor is a little bit late to react and Saw not particularly close to that one. That had to land just beyond the four line to get it to die right there. Powerful, powerful forehand by Carballo. That rebote is missed. No shutout here. Carballo and Flores. And a light from the crowd. Mm. Every now and then someone has a cell phone, you know, and a light comes up and. Sometimes those lights come out without you even touching anything, Stu. You know, you uh, it's happened even, to me. Yeah, it's happened. Definitely happened. All right, security went out and confiscated the telephone, and that's that. Here's the backhand by Flores. Julian from the 10 line. Powerful forehand by Carballo, as powerful forehand as I've seen on this court. Here's the forehand. Flores is there. Backhand to the inside. Catch by Flores. Here's the backhand. Rotate forehand. Carballo from the nine line. Backhand goes wall to wall. Rebote nicely played by Williams. Flores is there. Backhand from the 11 line. Julian from the 10. Low and hard to the inside, and Flores is there. Robote, that rebound off the back wall, played smoothly on the forehand of Carballo. Here's Julian. Hard to the inside. What an effort by Flores. That ball, a little tricky to catch. Four points for Williams and Julian of the Warriors. Williams has the serve. And just a well-placed ball. I mean, 
crossing deep in the backcourt, kicking up high, and Flores got assessed on it, almost had it, just couldn't control it there at the end. That contact with the side wall forcing the miss. Carballo picks the serve, blasts it inside. Robote coming out. Robote forehand, Karam. Carballo's on it. Carambola to split them, scores. Two points for Carballo and Flores. Carballo has the serve. You see I mean, those Carambolas throw from the outside back to the outside that hits the front wall first. Those are the ones we're talking about. They're very difficult to control. The left side there, Williams, you see how much spin that ball had popping out of the basket? Yeah, I mean, even when he was trying to catch it, yeah. you see it spinning up. Julian was right behind him, though. Got to look out or here, or your backcourt or right behind you. Julian had a better chance at that play to his right side than Williams to the left. Fault under serve. Second serve must be good. Good serve lands between the four and seven line. Here's a catch by Julian. There's the backhand. Carbayo from the forehand. There's the scoop by Carbayo. Here's the backhand. There's the forehand by Carbayo. Robote coming out. That's a beautiful Robote save by Williams. Big right side. Robote again. Carbayo has it. Two all. That's a good one. Scores. That's beautifully executed by Carbayo. Three points for Carbayo and Flores. Williams and Julian with four. Carbayo serves. Yeah, when he gets it on the Costado, that far to the outside, he has so many options. Choosing the two all opens up wide and scores right there. Just a one point deficit now. Warriors had control this set. Cyclone's coming back, looking to push this to a third and decisive set. Fault over serve. Second serve must be good. Good serve lands between the four and seven line. That point is for Williams and Julian, giving them five points, possible set, possible match point. Here's a catch by Flores, here's the backhand. Julian, backhand from the nine line. Ball tipped, point set. A hard fought match for Williams and Julian taking it in straight sets. 6 4, 6 3. And Williams and Julian remain undefeated this season. How about that? Six division team for the Warriors, 5 0, oh, halfway home to a perfect double season. One and a half points for the Warriors, reflecting that doubles win, courtesy of Williams and Julian just a few moments ago. Flipping back over to singles here for our next two matches, just one point up for grabs in singles matches. Fifth division, Bueno and Correa practicing right now. Behind that graphic, you see. And we're going to hear from the winning team for the fifth time in a row, Williams and Julian. Here they are. All right, William Julian, congratulations on winning yet another match. You guys are undefeated so far this season. Do you have plans to stay undefeated for the rest of the season? Uh, just continue good, right? to go out and play one game at a time. Uh, every match is different, every game is different, every game plan is different, but we stick to our game plan and that's fundamental highlight. Yeah, that's pretty much, he said everything. Well guys, again, <laughs> congratulations on winning that match. See what else happens in today's game day. Thank yeah. you. Give it up to God. Thanks guys.